Chanmi notices Suhin's frantic demeanor and the blood on his footwear as our alleyway scene resumes. When they end up at the columbarium together, her mistrust of him only deepens. Suhin is visiting his own departed sibling, his hyun passed away three years ago, while Chanmi is questioning Won Suk about whether it is true that he was such a terrible guy. Chanmi tries to covertly learn Suhin's narrative, but when he catches her, it becomes a crucial time for building trust. Trust is, in fact, a big subject this week, it is formed, damaged, and called into doubt. Chan Mi eventually confides in Su Hien about her own brother, despite her reservations about him. She shows Su Hien the location where she was standing rather than having a conversation to explain everything. On the other hand, we learn of the harsh bullying that led to Su Hien Hyung's suicide. Chan Mi and Su Hien may begin to develop a bond as a result of this encounter, but when Yung Kyung returns to school and the police open an inquiry, Chan Mi believes that Su Hien was the one who attacked him. It's vital to note that while everyone in the school applauded when Yum Kyung permanently left, they are all furious about his reappearance now. Bully Yum Kyung is despised, and their hero is the one who beat him and broke his foot. The possibility that the same hero also punished Won Suk has also been raised. Chan Mi raises her radar. At this point, Chan Mi is so wary of Su Hyun that she finds out where he resides, breaks in, and steals his blood spattered sneakers. But she eventually dismisses it after witnessing him experience an episode and nosebleed that spills on another pair of footwear. Suhin fears that he will give the police information about him and his sneakers, but she genuinely sides with him, accepts her faults, and gives them back. This develops into a crucial point in the two of them developing trust. Chan Mi is also experiencing additional issues as all of this is happening. High school bully Guk Ji Hyun has her sights set on Soo Hyun because of her chumminess with her. She also has a strong infatuation on Soo Hyun. Ji Hyun is also at odds with Ji Oh Song, who is the subject of Chan Mi's upcoming investigation, because it was Oh Song from whom she first learned about the pregnancy controversy. Chan Mi becomes even more perplexed following a meeting with Oh Song. The news that Oh Song is attempting to discover more about Won Suk's passing clearly upsets her. He and Ji Hyun are actually step-siblings, which Chan Mi unintentionally discovers when she pursues him to get the phone he left behind. Oh Song pretends to be friendly to persuade Chan Mi to retain their secret, while Ji Hyun actually does the opposite and becomes more hostile than ever. The two carefully guard their secret. Chan Mi is currently being motivated to move forwards more by the hidden notes she keeps getting than by her own findings. The first was a reminder to meet in the auditorium's back row, where she had been knocked out and had her phone unlocked. J-Bum saves her, and she awakens in a VIP hospital room. He is genuinely worried about her, and later we find out, he admits it sheepishly, that his parents control the hospital and that her payment has already been paid. She doesn't tell him she was attacked until later, when the cell phone thing becomes a problem, so she doesn't totally trust him yet. It transpires that whoever managed to unlock her phone used it to circulate a filthy image of Ji Hyun across the school. J Bum is seen looking into the attack while Chan Mi deals with the aftermath, which is a disaster and reignites Ji Hyun's hatred. Immediately after hearing about it from Chan Mi, he makes use of all of his contacts and influence, watches CCTV footage, and appears to have caught the person responsible for the auditorium brick, Osong. Oh as the enigmatic letters continue to turn up in Chan Mi lockers she is spiraling farther and more into a mess and making an insane number of enemies. And they'll stop at nothing to terrify her on the trip back to Busan in order to get her expelled from the school. At this point in the novel, it becomes clear that Ji Hyun is more than just a pampered child, she truly has a group of criminals at her disposal. Su Hyun observes the severe beating of Chan Mi that she forces them into from his rooftop following a melancholy shower at the gym. Chan Mi returns to her Gashuan but is expelled after being reported. Su Hyun intervenes once more at this point, and because of his growing confidence in her, he agrees to let her stay with him at his apartment. This is where we get a ton of squeed that we really needed, but as these two get closer, my concerns about Su Hyun's future grow. After viewing this video, poor Chan Mi is more upset than ever, and the drama offers her space to mourn. However, it isn't long before she finds another letter in her locker and she quickly follows its instructions in her desperation to learn the truth. She waits for the person to arrive in the pitch black shooting range since they have the knowledge she needs, and she's willing to take a chance on anything. 
who then shows up? J. Bong. However, one of those intriguing revelations involved o Som and j Bong, which is what makes this j Bong cliffhanger disclosure even more absurd. j Bong is seen addressing o Som about attacking Chan Mi in the theater. He demonstrates to him the CCTV footage and uses the limited edition sneakers that j Bong gave o Som to identify himself. What's weird is that although o Som is visibly disturbed, the next day at school he turns the tables on j Bong. He's wearing the limited edition sneakers, but there's also another pair strung up in a tree, 